Hello Constructors and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to implement the classic full screen toggle with the Node WebKit export and that is the Alt Return or Alt Enter as you might know it key combination. Uh, this featured in a lot of games and it's a very common shortcut and as you can see it's actually quite simple. It's literally just three whole events and very little in terms of actions. So here's a little preview of it. So we're going to press Alt Enter here. We're going to toggle it back, and um, if we hold it down, it obviously doesn't, you know, keep flickering between the two, and that is important to note. So what we're going to do is we're going to go. We're going to open up. Let's see. Open up a new window here. And so we're going to go to New. We're going to use the RTS template because it's kind of neat. I like this one. So first things first, we're going to create another event sheet, as you might have noticed. We're going to call this Full Screen, and the reason we're creating another separate event sheet and not adding it to this one is so that for example, if we have multiple event sheets, let's say multiple maps, then we're basically going to want to include the event sheet full screen so that way we can include this code on any event sheet that we want. So if you have two levels, you can include this specific event sheet on both levels and you can modify this and it will make the changes essentially global in a way. So what we're going to do is we need two more object types. First things first, we need the keyboard object. And I think you can guess the reason for this one, so I won't go into detail on that. And then we need the browser object. Now, the reason for this is because Node WebKit is essentially, um, as far as I understand it, is essentially just a wrapper around the Chromium browser. So when you start up Node WebKit, you're basically just starting up a browser. Um, so that's the reason we need the browser object in order to handle full screen and those events. So what we need to do is we're going to add an event, as you may have guessed. It's going to be on key down, specifically key down, so we can handle it ourselves. And then you're going to have to press control alt. Unfortunately, that's the only way currently to detect alt. I'm not quite sure why, if that's a bug or what. So we're going to do control V, control C, uh, sorry, control C to control V to paste it again. We're going to change keys. We're going to do this. Uh, we have to select the return key because it can't be detected automatically. And then one final condition, press C here to add another one. We're going to just once and then trigger once while true. So that way, essentially, these events will only, sorry, all sub-events and actions will only trigger once while these two are true simultaneously. So for instance, if I take my finger off the return key and then press the return key again, it will trigger the events and actions as expected. So then we're gonna need two, we're gonna need two sub-events. First one is going to be is type in full, is full screen, we're gonna we're going to control drag that to here. We're going to invert that. So if it's full screen, make it not full screen. If it isn't full screen, make it full screen. Simple as that. And then um, one final thing here, we need to press, press X to add an else statement. We're going to drag that in because otherwise it will not quite work the way we want it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to browser. We're going to type in full F for, let's see, request. Oh, sorry, cancel full screen if we're already in full screen. And then we're going to add the action. We're going to type in F here again. We're going to request full screen. Now, what we want to do is use the letterbox scale, so that way it stretches, you know, as as we would expect it to in, you know, full screen. Um, you can mess with this if you want. I would recommend just programming it this way, just so you can get a feel of how it works. And then, um, you know, secondly, we also need to go to project properties and uh, full screen in, we're gonna do letterbox scale just to match this action here. And I believe that is everything. So what we're gonna do, oh, we're also gonna set it to preview in Node WebKit so we don't have to try to export it ourselves. And we're just gonna hit the uh, run layout. All right, so you can see it works here. All right, gonna do Alt, Enter, and bam. It works precisely as expected, even if we resize this, it'll automatically size it back to full screen as letterbox. And yeah, as you can see, it's working perfectly, and um, I think it's pretty swell. So that is it, a very quick tutorial. I can upload the CapX if you guys want, and thank you very much for watching.